This is coffee beans to brew in a couple of minutes. To pick your berries called coffee cherries, you want them ripe, which is some shade of red depending on the coffee variety that you're growing. Pick your berries when the whole branch is ripe or ripening so you aren't left with sparse berry coverage like this. These bushes have already been harvested. If you want to eat them fresh, you want dark red berries. They are basically a bean with skin. There's a hint of sweetness underneath the skin, a non-existent flesh, and the skin is tough, almost bitter to the taste. Once harvesting is complete, grab a rolling pin or a bowl, or a mortar and pestle, and work over the berries firmly to remove the skin ready to ferment the beans. Separate out the beans from the skin and you're ready to move on to fermentation. A bowl of water is all you'll need for fermentation to take place. Place the beans in the bowl of water and let them sit for up to 48 hours. More than that is said to mess with the flavour and acidity, but for mere humans like myself, you probably won't recognise the difference. Remove the beans from water, give them a wash down, I did this a few times, to attempt to remove any leftover slippery coating and allow them to dry out for a week or so. Once dried out, remove the husk by rubbing handfuls of beans together to remove the outer coating. Take the bowls outside, blow lightly over the husks, and blow the husks away. Before you roast, have a look through your beans. Any part beans or misshapen beans with thinner sides will cook quicker, may result in uneven roasting, which means they may burn. To roast, I used a pie dish, poke some holes in it to allow for airflow around the beans. Spread them out evenly over the tray that you're cooking them on, or pie dish like this one. Place your oven temperature between 180 to 250 degrees, which is a fairly broad range. But the key to success here is just keeping an eye on your beans. After 20 minutes or so, your beans should be done. You'll notice they're a similar colour to what you'll find bagged in the grocery store. Store your beans in the fridge, grind them fresh to brew. For me, it took around 100 beans to make this brew. They were tiny beans compared to what I'd normally buy, but they still produce delicious tasting coffee. Is growing your own coffee worth the effort? These trees are five and a half years old. I've pumped out 45 kilos of berries, which equates to around 10 kilograms of beans that you can use. It can be a little bit of a tedious job, but if you have the time, it's actually a rewarding process to turn your beans into your own cup of coffee. Challenges you may face in growing your own coffee is they do not like exposure to extreme heat and sunlight. So grow them with a little bit of shade covering and you'll need to make sure you water if they're not getting much water themselves. And just in case you're wondering how long it takes coffee to go from flower to fruit, well, here it's around eight months later. <laughs>